this time when I'm I'm going what positions we need, we're mainly filling them. And I look at yeah. what Darren Moore wants to play, and we'll talk a little bit more about his systems and things like that because people say we're buying a lot of midfielders. We'll talk about the speculation around that later. But he's buying it in positions he wants to, this team to play. The only worrying thing I've seen is we're not bringing in a striker. The, yeah, but strikers don't know, especially if they're coming on loan from Premiership, you won't see them till the end of the transfer window. Premier League. A lot of the time, when transfers of strikers become near the end of the window, when they turn around and gone, right, this, we filled our squad, we want you to go out something. The one that I keep seeing, and if we could get a deal for it, it'd be insane if Wickham, again, and I've seen so many people say Wickham. If he we said drop... that last see- we said that last week. Has that become a thing now? It's that people dying want to. Him? Yeah, yeah. Right. People like saying if he can actually a get fit and b drop a load of cash down in terms of wages. Right. Let's talk about this then. Now, this is going to be a breakout. If you're going to come on with your clickbait crap, we're a speculation channel. We don't want you here. Sod off. Right. <laughs> Connor Wickham. Sheffield Wednesday player before. We mentioned it briefly in the full podcast last yeah. week. Obviously, big wages, rumored 40 grand a week, sort of thing. Yeah. His wife is a Wednesday fan. That's not always relevant. We His need a striker. Law is a Desperate. Wednesday fan. Exactly. We desperately need a striker. Could he's you been see here twice. him? Could, he's been here twice. Yep. Part of that uh, Leeds 6 0 as well, by the way. Yeah. Um, do you remember? He's still only 27, 28. I think, right? And it's just putting it out there. Could Connor Wickham be one of those you give a year deal to, even though it's he, he's level his championship at least? Yeah. I think he still did well on his second spell with us. You know, he obviously yeah, did, he wasn't did. that fortunate. But I reckon he could have a real resurgence season. And no, oh God, yeah. League One, I wouldn't say Connor Wickham would ever go there with any other club. But because of the Wednesday links, the money wouldn't have to be it. perfect because he's been sat. He's been sat earning quite a lot at Crystal Palace, right? He's probably set himself up quite nice. He's a free agent. He wants to... He, the, what I've heard, he wants to just go play football week in, week out. He hasn't played enough football over his career since he moved. He's had injuries, he's had problems. Yeah, people are going to go, oh, we're going to sign a crop. But Connor Wick, you can get half a season out of Connor Wickham at full fitness and say something hit with an injury, it's worth it. And I, I think you could get him down on wages. Yeah, it would be quite a considerable drop, yes. considering the average salary is apparently three to three to six k in League mm. One, and he was on about forty at Palace. Yes, a r- rumored could have been more than that. You know, like he's I obviously said, he's not played in a while, and he got the money. He might be just want to play football. You have seen players drop down leagues who have been on big money who haven't played any football. Connor Wickham at this level would be unreal yeah, is... and that's why i'm sort of like obviously it's a speculation topic yeah. obviously it's one of the but he's 28 he needs to get his career back on track and he needs to go somewhere where he's going to be first choice and i think he will be first choice and he'll have a chance for a good few months while because josh windass is out all right we've had a lot yep. of people asking us what fills the gap uh, a few people wrote in with that this week what fills the josh windass gap i think connor wickham comes in there and if he performs he keeps his yeah. space and I only and, think we have to give him a year's deal because he won't want to tie himself down if he has an amazing season. That's kind of win-win. It, well, it kind of win-win for him. We kind of lose if he does really well and then he gets but a, a then, deal but somewhere then in March, else. If we're in a good place in the league, we could offer a new contract and go, look, we'll give you this, but if something comes into you... Have you seen up, Connor Wickham's it? full name? No, what is his full name? Connor Neil Ralph Wickham. <laughs> Oh, oh bugger. <laughs> That's a lot of first names you've got there. <laughs> now, I'd, um, I'd like to see this happen. How much of it would happen? The other thing you've got to remember, looking at what Darren Moore's done in the path at other clubs, he likes young, hungry, energetic club, uh, players. Yeah. And the other thing is, I was looking at the loan situation. Like, I think it's like five loans or six loans you can have. In a match day squad, I was like, "Oh, well, we've done two, or we've got two left." He had seven when he was at Doncaster Rovers on low, so there's that option as well. I'm just looking at his Twitter and everything as well. Like, he's not tweeted since March when he was in training. He's not Instagram since then either. He's he's fallen off the radar a little bit. Um, his contract has run out, even though it's not 
No, you know what's really bad? Nobody's even updated his wik- uh, Wikipedia that he's a free agent. <laughs> you mean like people have forgotten about him? Yeah. And that's why I'm saying a player that of that talent for League One, and I'm just saying, ah, if you're watching, get on the phone quickly, mate, ah, because the, 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 now this the video's problem. out. There's the problem. <laughs> there's the problem. We can't use the old Atty followed him. Atty's already followed him. So we would have to. That's true. We can't use our usual way. You mean we can't use we can't use the journalist's best friend? <laughs> yes. I just said as soon as I saw him follow like Wing and Bailey Peacock Farrell, I'm going incoming yeah. articles in yeah. three, two, one, three, one. bang! All the articles <laughs> were there. Hearing that we're linked with this but, player, hearing that we're linked with this player. We also had the thing in the comment section about. Well, we know what the podcast is talking about here, here, and here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we knew. Can we say? Yeah. Can we uh, say? What we knew? Can we say that we right? We can say that we knew. Oh no, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. Well, we, no, we knew. Can't. We knew. We we knew something. I'll, I'll we shut knew up something now. was happening. I'll shut, I've just realised. No, I'd go into too much there. But no, when about Connor Wicked, we know nothing. Yeah. So that's one of the things that we want to kind of like gauge it with our our audience a little bit. Would you want Connor Wickham back at this level? And I know the the reason I'm bringing it up is because stranger things have happened. And we obviously mentioned it last week. And if people have started talking about it, yeah, when do you need to get on it quickly? I reckon, say, hi, Connor. Would you like to take six thousand pounds a week is it, is for your a year? Pitch? Yeah. Would you like to take six thousand pounds a week for a year? I know it's not a whole lot of money for you. However, it's a considerable amount of money still. Would you like to come and do that for a year? We'll give you a year. Um, you know what would even be better? A great way to do it would be like, hey. We're going to give you this. Here's an option of another year. And if we and get promoted, your wage is going to rise to this. And also, here's the bot for your missus, your father-in-law, and your little boy. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he'd need to... If he wanted one of them, he could have bought one. Come on. To be honest with you, we have been really bad in the past with doing that and not actually giving players boxers who should have boxers. And also, it's just a case of he's living in London. London's expensive. Yep. Come back up north, lad. Right? <laughs> Get out chips, of that. The chip, the chips taste a lot better. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not wrong. Um, what's your go-to topping? What's your what go-to? Chips? Yeah, uh, chips and gravy. Are oh, you a gravy man? You see? Yeah. If they ain't got gravy, it wraps and lots of them. I'm a curry man. Ah. It's got to be right though. You get some of those places that do the curry that's a little bit too curry like. And I know it sounds weird. Yes. Yeah. Or it's just it's always overpowered. If it's slightly orange, yes. right? Don't if it's, it. you know what I mean as well. Yes. If it's like on the, on the orange shade of curry sauce, I'm like, nah, it's got to be that almost looks like baby sick, sick sort of. <laughs> yeah. We apologize if anyone's eating. <laughs> yeah, we do. But Connor Wickham. I reckon we well we desperately need a striker, and I guess it's it is the good speculation topic because people have been going, who would yeah. you f- see to fit that gap? Talking about free agents, like I was looking at some other ones. We're going to talk about I've inc- I've included in this podcast a uh, League One roundup every week. Now yeah. we're going to wrap wrap up some League One news because that's where we are, unfortunately. But um, Page, some of the be tired to say s- that <laughs> some of the players that we were linked with uh, that I thought we could use for that topic have just gone this week because yeah. the free agents are all getting snapped up now it is getting to the business end of free agents and Wednesday are in that market Connor Wickham seems to be one that's gone under the radar it's possibly because he's quite expensive but if he can get fit we need a striker I think Connor Wickham in League One will be deadly yes especially with the service we're starting to get yeah, and we're signing and I know, wingers. I know it's only pre-season, but some of the service I've seen so far look. Did you see the there. corner? Lewis yes. Wink took a corner and it didn't I hit the first it. man. I, ta- when I, did did you ta- I tagged you on Twitter and went, is that better corners? It, like, it went yes. in. Yeah, on an eye off his head. And it actually yeah. found his man and we scored Also, a the link up goal. with uh, Fizz and... Oh, I was going to butcher his name up. Are they, are they back? Are they dying? I didn't hear say it. Uh, no, other one. The one that we got from the Addy Owen. The second, Addy Owen. Their link up play. And I loved Moore's response at the end of it. It's like, well, of course they're like that. They live together. Like, that's the kind of chemistry you get on a pitch when you've got players who are mates who live together. Who live with it? 
him, Fizz, Batshuayi, oh, right. and Thingy, they lived together. But back in the day, Ben Marshall and Gary Medin used to live in the same house. And they hit it How off. many blind oh. eyes did uh, <laughs> yes. Ben Marshall have to take? <laughs> How many did I? I didn't see that, Gary. I didn't see that either, but, Gary. Gary, what are you doing? 